Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here at Disneyland. We are. We have kind of a fun challenge to do today. We do. Mm -hmm. We're going to see what we could eat as far as food and drinks with a hundred bucks. It's going to be. That's our budget. It's going to actually going to be easy to spend a hundred bucks here because food is costly. But how much can we get for a hundred bucks? Yeah, you know, we want to try a variety of things. We don't want to yeah. cheat and get like 10 churros and yeah. 10 of this and uh -huh. that. We're gonna get all unique things. Yes. And uh, split a lot of it. Yes. And uh, hopefully get some good food and treats. Yes, yeah, so if we can get maybe eight dishes, that's a lot of food, eight dishes for a yeah. hundred bucks. That was where our goal, we'll see if we go over. If we go over, you guys will know. Oh yeah, because you know, uh, theme parks, they're notorious for high price items. Yes. Everyone knows that. Yes. So we're gonna try to get some good deals yes. and get some good food. Yes, and you can see if it would be enough food for you for maybe two, maybe three. We'll see how much. A yeah. hundred bucks will go. We'll see how long it goes. Right. And you know, just as we walked in, they had the uh, the parade. Yes. So we'll give you a little clip of that right after this. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. To Bengal barbecue, we got the pork belly skewer. Look at this skewer, you can see it cr really cooking up on that grill. It has some pickled vegetables on top, it has a sauce nicely cooked. It looks like it's a good ratio of fat and pork in there. And look at that little Mickey head! Yeah, look at that. How nice. So let me get my perfect bite going and we can try this out. This is absolutely tender. Look how easy that knife cuts into that skewer. You can see a little bit of the fat here and the pork. I'm going to get this pickled vegetable here. There's a little bit of that radish, a little bit of carrot. I'm going to break this Mickey ear, Mickey head, and put that on top. That looks like a perfect bite. Let's try this out. That is delicious. This pork, it's extremely tender. Again, with the mix of the fat and the pork, it's on the sweet side. It really reminds me of like cha shu, the one you would get in Chinatown. That sauce is a little bit sweet and the pickled with it. Yeah, this is a start, really good start. Kind of small, but we'll see what else we can get, but it's good. Here we have a jungle julep drink. It is nice and cold. It kind of looks like purple, purple in color. Let's give it a try. This is delicious. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like the Welch's grape juice mixed with fruit punch. Imagine. Grape juice, fruit punch, bam, and ice cold. This is delicious. It looks like a slush. Yeah, usually when they say julep, I always think of some kind of mint type of flavor to it. This has no mint flavor at all. Well, this is perfect for a warm day like this. This and that pork skewer, it's a perfect match. Mark Twain's right behind you, babe. That means that we are in New Orleans Square. 
We're here at Harbor Galley. Is it Harbor Galley? Mm -hmm. yeah. Harbor Galley. With their new potato leek soup in a sourdough bread bowl. Now, I know it looks a little strange with this purple decorations. I'm not sure what the purple flavor is. It plays homage to the Haunted Mansion, baby. Oh, it does? Yes. Yeah. I'd... Okay, if you say so, because I don't remember seeing purple in the Haunted Mansion, but let's see what it looks like. And this is like fried uh, julienne leeks, I guess. It almost looked like rosemary, but it, it's not. And we have a little layer of, looks like olive oil maybe on here. A lot of potatoes. Look at that. Let's try it out. We like potato leek soup, right? Mm -hmm. The potatoes could be done a little bit more, um, but the flavor of the soup is delicious. It has a tint of a sour cream type of flavor to it, like sour cream mixed with a potato soup. I love the little drizzle of that olive oil. It's a nice touch to it. You know, some potatoes are, are perfect. So. Lots of potatoes here. No shortage of it. Of course, one of the best, best parts is that sourdough bread bowl. This is like the plug, right, that came out of this. So you usually just grab some of it. Always go for the, the dip in that soup. There we go. This is a delicious soup. If you're looking for something different, other than the regular chili and uh, what was it clam chowder they have over here this is a good choice you gotta love potatoes though because it is packed full of potatoes it's a good addition to their bread bowls mm -hmm. yeah I, I know you're gonna like this one which one are you are you the inside or are you the outside i am the outside so i get a little piece of my outside dip it Mm. This is a really good soup. It's creamy, which is really nice. The potato. A good texture to that potato. I can taste a hint of maybe like lemon. A little bit of a, a little bit of tartness, but it really brings out this leek portion of it. Yeah, this is a delicious soup. I'm, I'm really happy with this addition. We're in Olga's Cantina. We joined the wait list, the walk up list, and it was only a 30 minute wait, which was really only like a five minute wait. We're in here, we bellowed up at the bar, and we're having one of their walkers. We had to add one boozy drink yeah. on this food tour. It's a lager beer, what's it called? It, it's a Black Squadron lager. Yeah, it's quite expensive. It is. Yeah, so we don't want to spill any. No, we uh, won't. Cheers, babe. Cheers. We're splitting it. Oh, nice and smooth, babe. Is it? A little bit on the hoppy side. Yeah, oh, yeah. A little bit. What makes it more delicious is like 85 degrees outside. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So this is a perfect way to cool off and then we'll continue with our food tour. Yes. The Olga's Cantina was very cool but very loud. Very loud, yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to be 21 to go in. No, just, just to get the drinks. Yep, and you just go up on the walk-up list and they'll call you when you're ready and they place you inside. It's not a place where you just can walk in. Right, it's a, all, all assigned seating or standing areas. Correct. Yeah, but it is a cool place. Yeah, it is. It's a good beer. Yep, and we were lucky. We were right up at the bar, so we yeah. ordered right away, and we and we were out within 15, 20 minutes oh, yeah. for our one beer. Yep, yep. that was it's, it. It's cooling down, so we're definitely going to enjoy this. Have a... Yep. This is Trandoshan style braised bantha, which is a Star Wars name for braised beef and pasta. Yeah, I'm not sure what the green uh, drizzle is on it's top. It's avocado. Avocado, uh -huh. okay. It's avocado. Try it out. Here we go. Let's try that green drizzle first. 
Ooh, great taste. A little limey and a good avocado taste. Now I'm ready to try this pasta out. Oh, what was that? Is this uh, the name of the restaurant here? This is Ducking Bay. Ducking Bay 7. That's in uh, Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, the Star Wars land. Yeah. Here we go. This beef looks just amazing because look how much beef they give you in here. And here's the pasta. Oh, look how cute they are. They're like little curls. Huh, baby? Look at that. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'm going to get a piece of vegetable which is a squash oh it's gonna be a big bite and the pasta let's try this out mm. this is absolutely delicious i can see this being a full meal for someone and then they have some bread that you can get on the side with it this is really good it has that first of all the pasta is perfectly cooked it's not mushy you would think because they're making it in masses that it would be kind of mushy, but these are perfectly cooked. And this beef is braised to the tea. It is a fall apart tender. Has very good seasonings in there. And then this green avocado sauce on top has that really good avocado lime flavor. So it gives that a little bit of tart. The braised is a little bit of sweet. And with the perfectly cooked pasta, it matches everything just divine wow this is actually very good for the price it is which is a little bit high i wouldn't even get this again because it's that good you know we had to throw in one proper meal and this is this is it right here all the rest were kind of small like uh, appetizers and such but this is the first real meal here we go I agree, this is a very good meal. The avocado sauce does have a little lime in it. Gives it that nice lime kick. But overall, the spices in this dish is not spicy at all. It just has that rich, savory, a little bit of sweet taste of the beef, along with the contrasting lime from that avocado. It is very good. And you get a lot of vegetables as well. What are these, uh, squash? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you get some squash in it. Um, of course, the pasta and noodles is w well balanced. Like I said, what would make it really nice is, is some bread on the side. But even without the bread, it's great. Yeah, we recommend this one. We're on our way to uh, Toontown. Toontown, yeah. I from when it first opened, we didn't get a chance to see it yet, so this will be our first time seeing the newly refurbished Team Town. That's right, and you know what? I want to give special props to you. What? It, yeah, you just finished a whole eight-hour shift, yes, and now I did. we're in the park doing more stuff. Yes, you, yes. You were a trooper. Yes, I know. A, I've been here. A ever Disney since, trooper. I've been here since six thirty this morning. Yeah. I know a lot of you guys do it when you're on vacation, but it's almost like you're just working. <laughs> We finally made it to Toontown at Cafe Daisy. Here is the pepperoni pizza flop over. Look at all that pizza juice, AKA pizza oil. Look at that. But it's kind of dry on this side. But it is good size. It's about the size of like a, uh, of a Taco Bell Grande. You know, from Taco Bell, it's about the same size as that. Or like a chalupa, right? Doesn't look like a chalupa? Yeah. Kind of. It's packed with pepperoni on top. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, look at that. A lot of cheese, pizza, sauce, huge pepperonis. Look at that. It's glistening. You know, we heard that this is the best pizza here in Disneyland. Better than Pizza Fork. Let's give it a try. It looks hot. This is delicious. I can tell you right now, just after only one bite, that this is Probably the best pizza here at Disneyland and California Adventure. This is ex exceeding my expectations for pizza. It basically, like you mentioned, looks like a small pizza that they kind of just flipped into a taco. So it, it's not crispy like a traditional pizza crust is, 
But let me tell you, it is packed with cheese, pepperoni, sauce, and flavor. This might be my new favorite pizza here in the parks. Yeah. I know you're gonna like it. I like how it glistens in that sun. Look at that glistening right there. Wow. Here we go. It's hot, babe. Be careful. Mm. Let me help you out. Thank you, babe. That is delicious. This pepperoni, it is very tasty. It's not a spicy pepperoni. That cheese in there. If you're a cheese person, this one is right up your alley. The bread, even though it looks kind of thick, it isn't thick at all. And that marinara, very good tasting marinara. Doesn't taste too acidy and sometimes the marinara or tomato sauce is it's not tart like some tomato sauce this matches just amazingly all together now for those people that don't care for pepperoni they do have a plain cheese mm -hmm. as well so that, there's another option for you wow look at that you got a cheese bowl I went on this ride once during cast preview, so I quite don't remember it. It was a couple months ago, but let's go ahead and check this ride out. The Runaway Railway. It was only like uh, 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. quick. And the line moves really fast. So yeah. right now the line is out here. You can kind of see it. It's only a 35 minute wait. Yeah, it, yeah. my first time on it, I thought it was fun. Yeah. The animation was, was really cute. It was, it was very fun. cute, very cute. It's worth the 35 minute wait. I probably oh, would have yeah. waited even 45. Yeah, really cute. So too. In the queue line, there's a lot of photo ops. The line was almost going too fast because we wanted to take out of all the little props they have in there right. and so it, it's worth it you'll like it yeah this was a great break in between meals yes we got a couple of things from the galactic grill this is the what is it called the tropical something so flush I think so yeah, tropical is. slush which is a pog the passion fruit orange and guava it's kind of like a um, Hawaii combination, mm -hmm. one of our favorite juices from and over it, there. And it came with a glow cube. Yeah, it only comes one way, like you said, with yeah. the glow cube. So you are paying like a little extra for that. This side, there it is, right cube, there. Uh -huh. right? Yeah, I'm sure it'll look a lot more awesome when it gets darker, but let's give this a try. Oh, yeah. Very tropical. It's not that sweet. It really tastes a passion fruit, orange, and that guava. Yeah, this is uh, perfect. You know what make it good? A little splash of Malibu, but <laughs> besides that, as is, a nice slushy like this. Look at the consistency. Definitely a little icy. Like this, straws are optional. Have it right out of the cup. Yeah, this is good, good stuff. This is the Platinum Trifle. This is from the Galactic Grill, or that's right, Galactic uh, Grill, Yeah, right? Galactic Grill. Uh, the same place where we got the Pog. This is cookie crumbs. Uh, I know it has raspberry in it. It has chantilly in it. We're gonna go ahead and give this a bite. This little 100 years, the little 100 years is actually chocolate. But we're gonna go ahead and give this trifle a bite. Let's see. Look at all those layers. I wanna go all the way down. Oh, I'm going deep, all babe. the way down. There we go. Look at that. You can see the layers in there. Let's give this a bite. That is wickedly good. Wow. It is a little bit on the sweet side, but what's rice, what's rice, what's nice is this raspberry right here. 
gives that that little tart that you need the cookie crumble which is this right here it is soft you go all the way down you can taste that chantilly cream which is a very smooth like not quite pudding consistency i would say almost like a whip really heavy whipped cream consistency mm. this is excellent A little chi chi. Yeah, chi chi. This is a berry violet sundae. This is one of the desserts they serve for the 100 years that Disney, the Disney company is celebrating. It is two scoops of a vanilla ice cream top with mixed berry sweet cream sauce, sauce served with dipped waffle cup and sprinkles. And wow. where are we at? We're at the Gibson Girl. Yeah. Right on Main Street. Yep. Big old line for ice cream, and there's a sign that says they use dryers ice cream right over here. All right, let's give it a try. You know, vanilla ice cream, oh, nice and soft. That's a sweet cream they pour on top of that. Little bit of berry. Can I get a little berry? Oh, it's a big berry, but I'll get the ice cream first. Mm. That ice cream is delicious. Who doesn't like vanilla ice cream? The sweet cream on top doesn't taste like a berry mix. It tastes sweet, but I don't taste the berry in it. Let me have one of these berries here. That's a delicious berry. It tastes like a blackberry. Very good. The only thing this is extremely sweet. So it's good, but it's very, very sweet. And it looks like a uh, frosted waffle cone. It is a frosted on. waffle cone. Wow, so that, so that's even more sweetness. It's sweet on top of sweet on top of sweet. And needs a little bit of tart. We did it. Yes, we did it. Our total was before tax, yes. $98. Now it is our total, again, before tax. Mm -hmm. And this is before any discounts. I am a cast member, so I got discounts on everything. Yeah. But we made sure to put the regular price and we added up the regular price for everything. That's right, so for any guests, that's what the total would be. $98 so, yeah. before tax. So everything we got today, including the beer. Yes. We did it. Wow. We did and you it. You know what, I'm full. I am too. Oh, yeah. I am too. Yeah, you know what? What was your favorite thing today? You uh, got? Gosh, I, I like the pork belly skewer was good. Oh, that's what I was going to say. That was good. Um, the one in Star Wars, that the Docking 7. That Banta thing. Yeah, br the braised beef and with noodles. the pasta. Yeah, those that two were my good. favorite. Yeah, those are good too. Yeah. Got and the pizza? The pizza too. Yeah. I like that ice cream and that the ice cream. grape slushy. I couldn't even say... I mean, I wouldn't even tell you what my least favorite was, and probably my least favorite was this last dessert at Gibson Girl, because for me it was extremely sweet. Mm. Otherwise, that, but it's but otherwise it's good, but to me it was extremely sweet. Hey, so bubbles. I would say that would be probably be my least favorite. Yeah, but overall yeah. we made some good choices today. We did. Don't forget that potato leek soup. That yes, was the that was too. delicious. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have any shout outs? I have a lot of shout outs. Uh, Bonnie, happy birthday. Derna, happy birthday. Christine, happy birthday. Wayne, happy birthday. Colton, happy first birthday. Uh, Keith, happy 70th birthday. Jill, happy birthday. Eric, happy birthday. Reza, happy birthday. Um, Sister Sharon, thank you so much for coming. Sister Sharon and Keith came by yes, and said yes. hi to me at, at um, Trader Sam's. Brought us omiyage, yeah, so yeah. thank you very thank much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nelson and Gigi, happy anniversary. Sam and Paul, thank you so much for watching. Gabe, Stephen, and Chanel. I just saw them here on the Big Island. From, they're from the Big Island. Yes. I just saw them here in uh, uh, the Galactic, Galactic Grill. Right, right. Yes. You know, we want to go back to the Big Island. Yes. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kathy and Nick from Long Beach. Um, they had a question about a meet and greet from yes. Long Beach. Yes. You know what? If we ever do have one, we will be sure to put in the community post. Yeah. But we don't have any plans for one right now. Yeah, but we always love to see you guys around, enjoying your vacation, mm -hmm. having fun. So if you see us out there, definitely stop by and say hello. Sure. Just yeah. like the Big Island family. Yes. Hold your yes. side, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, well, that's going to do it. Uh, this was a fun $100 challenge. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you want to see another challenge somewhere else. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? And uh, until that next adventure, we'll catch you guys in the next one.